everybody, my name is H21H, introducing you to a brand new series on command blocks in Minecraft. So in this series, you learn how to become a Minecraft command block pro and make your own custom mobs, machines, and much, much more. So get ready to learn a whole lot about the command block world. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own custom mob. So, first, you're going to want to open up your web browser and go to this website called Minecraft.tools. On this website, you will be greeted to a list of options. You're going to want to scroll down and go to Mobs Generator. Click on that and let this load up. And then, over here, you'll see these three options, Create slash Summon create a spawn egg and create a mob spawner you're going to want to create a slash summon command because we're going to want to spawn in our mob using slash summon so over here where it says none you're going to want to click and then choose your base mob i'm going to choose a zombie because that's like the most common mob to use as like a test and we're going to name it so you can literally name it whatever you want so i'm going to for this video's sake i'm going to keep name it youtuber so the mobs name is youtuber you can choose a whole bunch of stuff from this thing so you can disable artificial intelligence which will make it like a statue you can make it persistent you can make it glowing if you're in 1.9 plus so we're gonna make ours glowing you can choose for it to be left-handed but I'm not gonna make it left-handed and you could choose no gravity do you want it to fly well, let me just put on fly just to check it out. And then you, over here, you can set up its health value. So I'm going to set its health to 50. Okay, so its health is 50. And this is, you can set up their fire range. And I'm going to make its follow range about 283. That's a lot. And knockback resistance. And we're going to make it 100% so it won't get any knockback. And we're going to want to make this mob super fast. So we're going to make this mob about 10 speed, which is going to make him like OP. And attack, he's just going to do one heart of damage. And does he spawn reinforcements? We're going to give him a 50% chance of spawning reinforcements. As you can see over here, we'll make him silent. You know what? Since we made him silent, let's call him the silent killer. The silent killer so we're gonna name him the silent killer okay and over here we're gonna not make him in he can break doors we're gonna make him break doors and we can never you could add a custom loot table I'll show you guys how to do this in another tutorial but right now we do not want to put any custom loot table right now so now we're going to configure his weapon. So in his main hand, we'll make him hold a diamond sword, I guess. So, so we're going to click diamond sword. And we're going to name it um, the killing weapon. You know what? Let's just name it the killing weapon, a classic name. You can add enchantments. So let's go. Let's add um, smite. And we're going to give it a drop chance of 100%. So we've added Smite. And let's just add one more. We're going to add Knockback. So on his sword, he'll have Smite and Knockback. So item weapon in offhand, we're going to give him a hoe. Because he's like a killer, I want him to look like a reaper. So we're giving him a hoe. And we'll give him an iron hoe. Cause, um, and we'll name it hole of doom okay and we're just gonna enchant it to make it look a bit cool this is just for look so we're gonna also give it knockback so a hoe with knockback i know you guys have never heard of anything like that but it's gonna have a hundred percent chance of dropping now we're gonna work on his armor first we'll do the body legs boots then we're gonna work on this head part so for the body i'm gonna give him a chain chest plate no iron I think let's give him iron well for some reason it's not working but we can always change it later so right now I'll just choose diamond chest plate 
Oh, right here. I'm going to change it to iron chest plate. And I'm going to enchant it with protection just so it looks nice. And on his legs, I'm going to give him leggings, chain leggings. So you can customize this however you want. So I'm just going to enchant it with whatever. It doesn't have to be anything. For boots, I'm going to give him... I think I'll give him some diamond boots just to be nice. And then we're going to enchant it. Okay. Now we could also add some potion effects, which will give him strength. And we'll give him instant damage. Okay. Over here now, we're going to work on the head part. Now this is the most important part of your mob to make him look custom. So we're not going to use any texture packs, so... This is really crucial in building your mob. So you're going to want to click here and choose head. So over here you can choose a username's a user's head as its head. So let's just write scream. Hopefully somebody has a scream skin. I'm praying for this. Let's hope preview that. Well, the silent killer can have this skin. I'm fine with this. So this is how our guy's head is going to look. Because we use the Minecraft username Scream. So we'll give it a 100% drop size. And then we're going to name it Head of the Killer. Just going to call the head of... It's going to be called Head of the Killer. And it has a 100% drop chance like everything else. Now we can make it ride something. So for the video's sake, I'm going to make it ride... Let, let's make it ride something cool. So I'm just going to be classic and make it ride a spider. As you can see. So it's going to be riding on top of the spider. So our mob on top of the spider. So once you're done all this configuring. Over here you can go and click generate the command. And as you can see over here. It will give you all the code for your command. So let me quickly copy paste this and put it into minecraft and i'll see you guys in minecraft okay guys so i'm in minecraft and now i'm going to show you guys how to you can actually use your command so first of all all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to need to do is click t open up your chat and do slash give your username or at p whatever you choose and then you're going to want to do c o m m and then hit tab Minecraft will auto-complete it for you and you'll write Minecraft command block. If the auto-complete doesn't work, just copy in the command just how I did it, except where I wrote Capfly over here, you're going to want to write in your username. So after you've written this, click enter and you'll be given a command block. Now you're going to want to go into your inventory and get a redstone block to power it up. You can really use any type of circuit, but I prefer the block. So next, you're going to want to place down your block, right click, and paste in your command. Make sure you copy paste, don't just write down the whole command because otherwise you're just wasting a lot of time. So if you've pasted it successfully, it should come up in your chat as you can see over here. And right click on your command block and as you can see inside, all your code will be there. So now to activate it and actually summon your mob, all you're going to want to need to do is place a redstone block next to it. And as you can see, guys, the silent killer has been spawned. It looks super sick and looks ready to kill somebody. So, so that's all for today's video, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to comment down below, should I start a Pixelmon series? If yes, also leave a thumbs up, and that's all for today. Goodbye.